The potential <laughs> return of Henry could be massive, a boost for this offense, especially for Ryan Tannehill and Tennessee's play action attack. Since 2019, Tannehill averages over 10 yards per drop back, has a QBR of 85 on play action passes when Henry's on the field. But when he's not, those numbers significantly drop. And in case you were wondering, the Bengals have allowed the fifth most yards per drop back on play action this season. Crucial to have Henry back out there. And when you hear that Henry might return, Marcus, the mind instantly goes to the effect that it has to the run game, but not you. So explain why. Yeah, because I didn't want to come on here for the sake of not repeating myself, L Boogie, oh, and just talk oh, about the physicality oh, of an offensive line in a run game. Got I'm going down the field. <laughs> I'm going to A.J. Brown, and I'm going to Julio Jones, who are also impacted by Derrick Henry being back on the field. These guys have not played a lot of football together this year, obviously, with Derrick Henry going out, but it's a comfort level for both of them. You get favorable matchups as well with Derrick Henry being in the lineup because defenses have to play you well. These three guys on the field, I'm waiting on my tombstone so I can show everybody the impact <laughs> of this offense when all three of them are on the field at the same time and how effective they are there when they're together. Look at these numbers, y'all. You just talked about Tannehill, but Dang. look at the difference of the overall offense. Dang. They average seven yards per play when Derrick Henry and Brown and Jones on the field. Look at the attempts. Per attempt, nine yards, and then per rush is five, obviously, having Derrick Henry in the backfield. The whole dynamic of the Tennessee Titans has changed if Derrick Henry is back on the field. And it's not only changed about the run game, which y'all know I love to talk about, <laughs> run, the, run the football, but these wide receivers, man. These wide receivers. A.J. Brown is a physical wide receiver that breaks a lot of tackles. You got to be very leery of having him one-on-one. -on -one. And Julio Jones, if he can return to that 50-50 ball guy, terrifying. Hey, Marcus, uh, just real fast, Key, because you're next. But, uh, Swaggo, you've been in the business, what, like seven years now? Uh, it's been a while. You were calling that full screen a tombstone, and people at home are probably like, what's Man, the other talking about his tombstone? Stop. I don't know the difference stop. either. You know I don't know. Okay, you know fine. I don't That's know. a nitpicky you know TV thing. Put the graphics thing. up there. Yeah, the, but uh, listen, I'm I love sorry. it. Call for your tombstone anytime you want. All right, Key, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was going to say, though, Marcus is, is, is right, but that's what scares me is because coaches tend to screw things up. When they start to get playmakers back and all of a sudden they're getting three guys together that they haven't had but only 120 plays throughout the year. So you look up and you say to yourself, well, Derrick Henry certainly makes them better. There's no question about that. But you don't need to change what you did to get there when Henry was gone, you still ran the ball pretty effective. You still was able to do play action pass pretty effective. Some would argue that the running game was even better because it was running back by committee. And I know that's hard to believe or even think when you got a 2,000 yard back in Derrick Henry. I just caution everybody, especially the offensive coordinator, Todd Downing, don't screw it up trying to be too cute <laughs> because you got those guys back. <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.